So what makes the Discalced Carmelite Order distinctly Marian? Going back to our beginnings on Mount Carmel, the hermits gathered for daily Mass in a chapel dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary as the Lady of the Place. And ever since then, we have been known by the Church as the Brothers of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. This special bond that we have with her calls us to live not only in allegiance to her Son, but also to look to and honor her as the perfect disciple and ideal example of following Him, especially in prayer and faith as we live our Carmelite vocation. In the Gospels, we find Mary in all her words and actions to be the faithful model of how we ought to live as Carmelites, constantly striving for perfect charity. Mary teaches us to give every part of our day to Christ just as she did. This especially means being present to our brothers and to all those we encounter or minister to with the same devotion and charity with which she cared for Jesus. Mary is our constant companion in this effort. Our holy parents, St. Teresa of Jesus and St. John of the Cross, often refer to her as Lady and as Mother. She is Lady because of her exalted place with Christ and in His Church. And so we honor her by meditating on her life and virtues, and encourage all to look to her as their exemplary model of discipleship. As Carmelites, we consider her our Mother because she is the preeminent example of the spiritual life and a mediator of grace in our call to deeper union with Christ in prayer. She is always there to encourage us in our trials, in ministry, community life, and prayer, and to keep our eyes fixed on her Son. When it comes to faith, Mary's total confidence in God, in her surrender in the Annunciation, is that prime example for us of how we are called to give ourselves to Christ as his consecrated religious. The purity and simplicity of her offering is something that she calls us to emulate fully in our radical following of Christ. But how does this strong bond with Mary show itself in our daily lives as Carmelites? We celebrate her feasts with the greatest solemnity we can, along with weekly Saturday memorials in her honor, under one of the many titles that the Church has ascribed to her. As a community, we recite the Angelus before the principal hours of the Divine Office, and each of us makes it a priority to maintain constant close relationship with her, since we know that as our Mother, she is deeply present to us in every moment of the day. Ever since I entered Carmel, I've realized that the only desire Our Lady has for us, for each of us, is to grow in holiness, freedom, and deeper union with Jesus. And this realization has caused my love for Mary to grow more than I ever could have expected. Ultimately, the deep, intimate relationship we Carmelites share with our Blessed Mother permeates our entire life in community, prayer, and ministry. St. Therese once said that Mary prefers imitation to admiration. The Discalced Carmelite friar wishes to best show himself a brother and a son of Our Lady by striving to imitate her faith, her love, and her devotion toward Christ and the Church. And Mary, as Our Lady and Our Mother, helps us to do so with joy. Amen. Uh...